Hey everybody, Matt from MasterSketchup.com and today I have a tutorial for you on how to draw a vase. Um, this is going to feature the arc tool, the follow me tool, and the offset tool. So if you're a beginner and are looking for some tips on how to use those tools, this is kind of a good easy tutorial for you. Um, and this is what we're going to end up with with this uh, vase right here. You can see it's hollow, so we'll be building the wall and using the uh, follow me tool to uh, turn it into a vase. So the first thing you're going to want to do, and I like to do this with a lot of different things I'm doing a ske in SketchUp, is um, create something to reference off of. So for instance, if we start uh, with a rectangle and we try to draw like an upright rectangle, SketchUp is, is inferencing the wall behind this table that I'm on. I'm just trying to create, you know, a rectangle that comes up like this and goes across, but it goes a little crazy like that. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just create a box here and then use the push-pull tool to drag up. And this will give me a nice surface to reference to when I'm drawing the outline of my, um, my vase. So once you create your reference box, you just select everything by triple clicking it, right click, and make sure it's in a group. Because we don't want the profile to be sticking to this box, we're going to be deleting this box later on. So now that you have this uh, nice reference uh, face to, to work on, uh, what we're going to do is create the profile of the vase. Now we don't need to make the entire profile we actually are gonna like split this in half and just do half of the profile and then the idea is we take that profile and spin it around in a circle so to do that I'm just gonna do it freehand you can be more precise if you want uh, you can use the tape measure tool to create guides um, you know at specified dimensions but we're just gonna use the line tool and start drawing so I'm just gonna click here and drag over to make the bottom and I'll zoom in a little bit better and make a little angle there and then now we want to switch to the arc tool so uh, since SketchUp thinks we're continuing to do a line you can either press escape or you can just uh, click uh, on your keyboard A to bring up the arc tool or you can just select the the arc tool so um, another good idea is to have uh, a picture of whatever it is you're trying to model. This is a picture I just grabbed off of uh, an image search. And this is kind of what I based the shape of my vase off of. So it's nice to have something like this where you can judge the proportions. So we'll come back in here and we have the arc tool selected. So we'll just start here and we'll kind of come up to this spot here. You click again to specify the second end point of the arc. And then the third click is going to define the bulge. Now it'll snap to different um, types of arcs, but we're just going to come out to, diff to a, you know, a slight bulge here. Click a third time, and there's that arc. Then we're going to do another arc here. Coming out, and you can see that it has this uh, tangent uh, kind of predefined there. So we'll come out here and zoom in a little bit more to give us give ourselves some more control. And then we'll do another arc coming up here. And then we'll switch back to the line tool. So you, you can see this profile kind of starting to take shape. And what we want to do is just finish this off, we'll reference this point down here, we'll come up, click, and then come down and click. And you can see the face. And now that we have that face, we can go ahead and delete the uh, box behind it. So I selected that and hit delete. And you can see we're left with this profile. So now what we want to do is create the thickness so we'll go and grab the offset tool and you can see that whenever you hover over a face um, you'll see a little dot and that's where the offset will start from 
So we'll go ahead and click to start. And then as we move the mouse, you'll notice how um, it creates an offset profile of the outline of that face. Now we want to be careful because see how if you go too far, the lines start overlapping. So we just want to do a, a slight, like almost quarter inch uh, line. And this was kind of the tricky part up here. You didn't want these lines to overlap. So, so that's great. So now we have a nice uh, wall thickness here. And then we'll go back to the line tool and we'll just create little cutoff points here. And then we'll erase all of these points that we don't need anymore. So now that we have our profile, all we need to do is create a path for the follow me tool to follow. So we want to go on a circular path. So we grab the circle tool and you can see how right now uh, it's showing a blue circle. And when I come on this face, it shows a green circle. So <clears throat> you want to make sure that it's locked into the blue circle reference. So whenever it pops up in blue, you just hold down the shift key and that'll keep it in that uh, reference point. So holding down the shift key, once you're in the blue circle, you come to this end point and click once to start. And then you're going to drag it out to this point and click again to finish. And then the final step is to do a follow me tool action. Uh, before you use the follow me tool, you want to select the path that the tool is going to follow. So using the select tool, you select the circle, then you click the follow me tool, and then click on the face. And there you go. Now if your vase comes uh, inside out like this, if it's kind of gray, uh, sometimes that'll happen with different things you model in SketchUp. You just select everything by triple clicking it, right click, and click reverse faces, and you're all set. And if you'd like to learn some more tricks and tips on how to use SketchUp, you can visit my website at mastersketchup.com.